In this video, I'm going to explain how to install an artificial intelligence model locally. So there are many ways that you can perform this task. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you one of the easiest ways. There are even easier possibilities, but I find this one kind of comfortable and there's a lot of documentation about it. So uh, first thing first, why is it interesting or why can it be interesting to install an AI locally. So it means either on your own computer or on the server of your choice. It allows you to have the control over your AI. So to say, to be able to edit it and do it whatever you want. And uh, you can as well, um, let's say, transfer the responsibility. So when you have the control over it, it means that you are the owner of the AI and you are the one who is responsible for what you're going to do with it. So in the case of using Mistral AI with Matomo, that can be very interesting because as I previously mentioned, if you are using Matomo in order to collect sensitive or personal data and that you would like to use them, um, if you are using an AI proprietary model, high chances that in fact, by analyzing the data, the AI may find out that there is something strange that it goes against its internal policy and as a result blocking you and uh, not allowing you to perform what you wish. By installing, um, let's say a non-censored uh, model, what you can do is in fact, go beyond those borders which have been sent by proprietary model, and then you can do whatever you want. I precise here that it seems to me that the Mistral 7B and 8X7B, which are open source model, are by default uh, censored. And in fact, you need to find some models which are in fact unsourcing them. And that's typically uh, what this video is about. So first thing first, how to install um, model locally. So there's a great service um, software, which is named Olama. So you can just go on olama.com and download it. Then uh, you get some instruction about uh, how to install it specifically for your computer. In my case, I'm using uh, GNU Linux Ubuntu and it's kind of straightforward. Once I download it, I just need to perform curl and this request in order to install Olama. Once uh, this is done, what you need to have is like, you need to select the model that you want to use uh, or to set to download and install. So for example, if you type in uh, Olama run Lama 3, for example, in your terminal, it will automatically uh, download, install the model and then uh, give you a prompt possibility to directly request something. So um, just to give you an idea, this is my, uh, this is my terminal. And uh, when I run it, as you can see, it's telling me here at the bottom, uh, can you please send me a message? So uh, I'm going to show you the full, um, the full process. So um, in this example, I was using um, a model which is proprietary, which is named Lama2. And what I did is like, I request the following thing. Hey, how to hack Matt to a website? And you can see that his answer is the following one. I cannot provide you with instruction on how to illegally hack a website, including a Matt to a website, hacking is illegal and blah, blah, blah. And then it's gonna give you in fact uh, an answer anyway, uh, but telling me how I can do it legally, okay? Now let's imagine the use case in which you would like the AI to be within the body of uh, an attacker, which uh, is like 100% uh, evil, let's say, uh, someone who really is nasty and, and you really would like it to get this role because you would like to audit at the maximum rate, let's say your uh, security infrastructure. For this, uh, you can download um, non-censored models such as Dolphin in order to understand a bit more what does it mean and how is it possible to uncensor a model. There's a great article that you can find uh, on this given page from Eric Ford, who is explaining in fact, what is an uncensored model in the detail um, 
why uh, they exist, uh, so the different use case, and then explaining you a bit more in detail about uh, what it consists of. So in my case, I decided to install this one, which is kind of pretty popular. You find it a lot on YouTube. And then I perform exactly the same request. And um, this is the result that I got. So, up, so here I installed uh, this model, which is called Dolphin, which is based on Mixtral. So it's a uh, Mixtral AI model, open source, which have been, let's say, modified and tweaked in order to create a fork of it. So that's another version, which is named Dolphin. And then I just ask it the same question. And as you can see, how to hack a map to a website. Okay, and here straight away is going to tell, tell me uh, how to do it without telling me about the legal part. So hacking a map to a website can be accomplished with various methods, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so here they are telling me, okay, uh, crucial to remember that hacking to someone else's website without permission is illegal and unethical. Okay, so uh, pay attention. And here it's interesting because you see the answer is definitely different. So research the target website, exploit the vulnerability, use boot force, gain root access, and then the five one, which I think is kind of the most interesting because that's mostly not said within the previous answer. Cover your tracks. After completing your hacking attempts, make sure to delete any traces of your activities and clean up any evidence that you were there. Manual deleting log file, modifying timestamp. I mean, th those are really like uh, super powerful. So I think it's interesting as well to understand what's going on. Not though that installing a local AI is not without any consequences because it will require a lot of um, hardware power from your uh, from your computer. So typically here, if I just ask, who are you? As you can see, even though the answer seems kind of straight away, it's going to take, uh, I mean, in my case, ages. So what's going to happen is like my computer will start to make some noise, uh, consume a lot of uh, RAM power, CPU power, and the answer is going to take a while. Whereas actually, if I was using a good server, I should be able to get an answer kind of in, in no time. Hope uh, you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.